Hey guys, this is Tricker. This is going to be my in-route tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about navigation, fuel tank sequencing, auto balance of the fuel, jettisoning stores, and the aileron limiter. So the first thing we're going to talk about is tachyon navigation. We're going to use 12 x-ray for Nellis. So we're putting in 12 x-ray right now. We're going to put this on transmit and receive. Now we're going to make sure the nav mode is in the tachyon position, which is on the right side. Left side is for ADF. Sometimes the nav source won't come up, so you just simply have to switch it to ADF and then back to TACAN. And as you can see, it came up here on my HSI. So right now I'm pointing at the pointer, which is uh, directly towards Nellis. As you can see, Nellis is southwest of us right now, and we are 56 miles away. Also take note, you can hear the Morse code in the background for identifying the station at Nellis, which is 12 X-ray. So right now I'm making a left-hand turn towards the Tachyon station, which is the pointer that I pointed out earlier. So it's important to note that the F5 does not have any fancy avionics, but you can navigate towards a Tachyon or an ADF station. So right now we're still in our left-hand turn, and what I'm gonna do here is use the heading bug, so I can click and drag, or you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse. And what I'm going to do here is put in 270, so I'm going to fly a heading of 270, and then I'm going to set the course knob to 220. You can do the same thing, left click and drag, or use your mouse wheel. This is all technique, but this is what I would do. I would use the heading bug to remind myself that I should be flying a heading of 270. If I want to intercept the 220 course, you can see we're 52 miles out, and I have a 220 course set. And the reason I selected 220 is because on the chart it shows for 21 right or 21 left, it's a 220 course. So what I'm using is I'm using the tack hand to help me navigate to get me straight onto the runway into Nellis. So right now you can see the CDI needle is becoming centered on the HSI. So I'm going to start a left hand turn to 220 and I'm going to follow the needle all the way into Nellis. So right now we're established 220 heading and on course to Nellis. And as you can tell, we're about 43 miles away. So if we follow this course all the way for 43 miles, we'll end up at Nellis. So I know this has been kind of quick and short, but uh, there's not much to talk about in the F5 for navigation wise besides ADF and TACAN navigation. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to talk about fuel. So if you have external tanks, you always use the pylons first and then the center line. So as you can see, we have pylons selected up. We have a caution because uh, we ran out of fuel in the external uh, pylon tanks. So what we're going to do is we're going to jettison the pylon tanks. So we'll turn off the pylon switch arm the position selectors. So we'll select select jettison on the up position, press the red button, and as you can tell we lost our external tanks here, so they have been jettisoned successfully. So the next thing we'll do, we'll reset the master caution, we'll arm the center tank, so now we can have fuel from the center tank supplying our fuel system. And the next thing we'll do, we'll deactivate the store positions for the ones that we just dropped. And for an example, we'll drop the bombs here, the Mark 82s, and so we'll activate the outer wings. And we'll go ahead and press the red button again. As you can tell, we just dropped everything. So the next button we'll talk about is the emergency all jettison flight button. We'll remove the cover, we'll press the button, and that removed the centerline tank. That's all we had left. As you can tell, we still have our pylons and our sidewinders. But if we did have ordnance, we would lose it all, except for our pylons and sidewinders. So right now we'll go ahead and deactivate the stores that we had selected. Next we'll lose the pylon, so we'll put in the down position to all pylons, and then we'll press the red button. And you can see we just lost our pylons. So now that we lost all of our external stores, we have a master caution. So what we'll do is we'll turn off the centerline tank, and we'll reset the master caution. So now we're using the internal fuel and you can tell right now that the right tank is more than the left tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to auto balance. So we can put this on the left low, and that means that the right tank is going to feed both the left and right engine. And when the tanks balance out, the auto balance switch will go back to the middle position. It's imperative you're always watching your fuel, and if for some reason the auto balance does not work, we can put it in the middle position, 
and we can try cross feeding. So here's the cross feed button, and whatever side is low, we will turn the boost pump off. So in this case, the left side is low. We turned off the left side, so now the right side is supplying the left tank with fuel. So this pretty much sums up the fuel system, everything I think that is necessary. We talked about auto balance, we talked about cross feeding, we talked about the external stores, as in the pylons first and then the center line. We also reviewed jettisoning stores and the emergency store switch. So next what we'll do is we'll uh, show about the aileron limiter. So basically the aileron deflection limiter is a spring stop which limits the aileron to one half travel. And as you can see here, I'll go ahead and demonstrate. If I put the stick all the way to the left, it only goes about halfway. And basically all it's doing is it's mechanically limiting your stick movement in order to protect the aircraft against high G overload in normal maneuvering positions. So right here I'm demonstrating my full left stick now. And the way I'm doing this is by holding the Lima key. I also have that bound to my HOTAS. And we'll go ahead and demonstrate to the right. So this is a normal roll to the right. And if I hold the Lima key, I can do a more aggressive right turn, as you can see. So here's an external view of the uh, normal roll and the roll without the aileron deflection limiter. This pretty much covers the whole entire tutorial for the in route. Hopefully I didn't confuse you guys too bad. We talked about tack can navigation, we went over fuel tanks, auto balance, jettisoning stores, and also the aileron deflection limiter. The next tutorial is going to be on approach and landing. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. And as always, fly safe out there.